So it looks like Pokemon developer Game Freak was hacked a few days ago and well I never condone any hacking of any kind guys whether it's you know TV shows whether it's movies whether it's gaming the silver lining in this news story is that we've got some fantastic information and updates regarding potential Detective Pikachu and Pokemon live action movies going into the future. So let's break down this article here, which comes to us from Gamefragger. Let's see what kind of information we can find out about potential sequels to Detective Pikachu. So this article is called Detective Pikachu Sequel and Game Boy Movie Discovered in Massive Game Freak Hack. Again, it's never great to hear about any companies being hacked, having their employees information kind of, um, you know, downloaded and potentially sold through nefarious means, um, you know, and kind of having these projects delayed and destroyed because people are hacking into it. It's never a good thing, guys. But like I keep saying, even though it's not good at the same time, it gives us great information here about potentially what's going on in the future with live action Pokemon. I've always wondered as well, just to go off on a side note, why is there not more live action Pokemon? You would expect in this day and age with all the great CGI and all that, all this kind of technology that we have now, where is the live action Pokemon? Because it's, it's so ripe to have live action series or movies made from Pokemon, but we just don't see it. And it's very, very strange. So Pokemon franchise developer Game Freak suffered a major hack this weekend, resulting in a ton of private information becoming public. That's where it gets scary. When you have employee information that's leaked out online, that's never a good thing whatsoever. So while much of the information pertained to Pokemon video games, we're going to be here. We're not here to talk about the video game aspect of the hack, guys. We're here to talk about the uh, the live action Pokemon aspect of the hack. Um, there are also reports of a trilogy of live action movies planned for the franchise. A trilogy of live action movies planned. That's really, really exciting. Obviously, we haven't had an update for Detective Pikachu in such a long time. So many fans of that first movie, because I thought that first movie was fantastic. I really, really enjoyed it. Obviously, Ryan Reynolds did the voice of uh, Detective uh, Pikachu, you know, Deadpool himself. And with Ryan Reynolds being at his all-time peak popularity because of Wolverine and Deadpool, now is the perfect time to come back and do another sequel, in my opinion. But yeah, a trilogy of live action movies, that would be so exciting, especially if Ryan Reynolds was obviously involved as well. So one of the movies was, of course, Detective Pikachu, but it seems that there was a sequel planned titled The Great Detective Pikachu. The movie has been in development since 2021. So apparently the complete plot of the movie is contained in the leak, but we won't be sharing that here. That's absolutely understandable. This information isn't supposed to be public and sharing the plot of the movie could be detriment to its production. So I completely understand why we're not going to be kind of talking about the actual uh, plot. Plus, as a fan of the movie, I don't want it to be spoiled for me, you know, way in advance. So you can kind of understand why we're not going to be talking about it here, guys. So Kong Skull Island, uh, director John Vaught Roberts is attached to helm the movie. Interestingly, we don't quite know the status of the film. The film was reportedly planned to be released in 2024, but obviously that hasn't happened. There's been no formal announcement and we're already at the end of the year, so we're not quite sure if it's still happening. Obviously with this hack and this leak, maybe it's put a spanner in the production. Maybe they've had to go back and now change things and reconsider what they're doing because of all this leaked information. Obviously, you know, um, stopping that leak of information, you know, um, backing up their security on their servers and kind of at their at their headquarters and all that kind of stuff is obviously you know priority for the for the developer at the moment so maybe that's taken precedent over the development of this movie and maybe the movie's going to get delayed but um we'll have to wait and see if we get any updates in the near future so released in 2019 pokemon detective pikachu is a live action movie loosely based on the 2016 video game of the same name it was written and directed by bob letterman and starred ryan reynolds again having deadpool in there um doing the voice at the moment, if they brought out a sequel and people found out that Deadpool was voicing Pikachu, people would lose their damn minds. So, Ryan Reynolds as the voice as the facial uh, motion capture of Pikachu. Um, it was the first live action Pokemon film and the first ever live action film based on a Nintendo game property since 1993's Super Mario Brothers. We all know how that turned out. That was a massive disaster. <laughs> And 1993's Super Mario Brothers. Guys, if you have not seen anything to do with that, just go on YouTube, check out a trailer to 1993's Super Mario Brothers, and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about when it comes to disasters. Um, the film was both a critical and commercial success, earning 450 million worldwide. 
It was the highest grossing video game adaptation of all time before being surpassed by Illumination's Super Mario Brothers movie in 2023. So this just this adds to the pile of things that just don't make sense. The movie made $450 million worldwide for a first movie in a brand new kind of um, IP, like a Detective Pikachu live action movie, nearly half a billion dollars. That's fantastic. It was the highest grossing video game adaptation of all time as well. Two massive accolades for that movie. How did they not greenlight a sequel almost instantaneously and get it going? It doesn't make any sense to me. Um, there must have been a reason why they decided not to just go straight ahead with it with a sequel. So Nintendo has already greenlit a sequel to the Super Mario Brothers movie. Exactly, they've done it with Super Mario Brothers, but then again, that made a hell of a lot more money, so I kind of understand that. And even announced a release date for April 3rd, 2026. However, there's been uh, nothing about Detective Pikachu sequel yet, which feels a bit strange given that the movie was also a commercial hit. Yeah, like we were just talking about, the fact that it made loads of money, people loved it, I think it did quite well critically as well. And um, yeah, all across the board, the movie did really, really well uh, commercially. So it, it's very, very strange why they didn't just go straight into a sequel. A third film unrelated to Detective Pikachu movie was also mentioned in the leak, titled Game Boy. The movie aims to dig deep into the themes of Pokemon's boundless potential, creating a story that highlights the importance of bonds, whether uh, between friends or between Pokemon themselves. That sounds quite wholesome and quite, you know, quite cheerful. I, I kind of like that. At first, it may seem like a simple story, but by showcasing unexpected situations, such as moments when bonds are broken and how one overcomes trauma, it brings out its unique flavour. The leak teases. Uh, when one bond ends, a new bond is born. You may not know that yet. At this point, the status of the film is also unknown. So let's just go back over that again quickly. So Detective Pikachu movie, um, an unrelated third film. Um, aims to dig deep into the theme of Pokemon's boundless potential, creating a story that highlights the importance of bonds. That's that's quite nice. That's obviously what a lot of the Pokemon stories are about. You know, forming that bond with your Pokemon, um, you know, and kind of finding your place in the world, that sense of adventure, that kind of friendship with Pokemon and other Pokemon trainers and people you meet along the way on your own individual um, adventure. So, you know, that kind of sticks with the Pokemon theme that we all know and love. Um, when bonds are broken and how one overcomes trauma, it brings out the unique flavor. Uh, when one bond ends, a new bond is born. Uh, you may not know that yet. Yeah, so it sounds wholesome. It sounds, you know, family friendly. It sounds great. It's, it does fit in with the kind of Pokemon stories that we already know. Um, so yeah, that's great. And I'm really, really excited for the future of live action Pokemon. I want to see more of it because like I keep saying, this first Detective Pikachu movie, it was so charming. It was so fun. The adventure, the CGI was phenomenal. Um, yeah, and you know, Pikachu himself was really fun, really cute, really charming, and people really, really love that first movie, and they've been waiting such a long time for a sequel or any kind of development update, you know, for potential live action projects when it comes to Pokemon. But guys, I throw it off to you. What do you think about this potential leak here saying that there's going to be a trilogy of live action Pokemon movies, potentially a follow up to Detective Pikachu called um, The Great Detective Pikachu? Do you think that's a great way to go to have another Detective Pikachu movie? Or do you think they should get rid of that and just go more generic Pokemon rather than focusing on Detective Pikachu? Whatever your thoughts are about this leak and this information we've discussed here guys jump into the comment section leave your thoughts comments and opinions on this and what you would and what you would potentially like to see in live action pokemon i'd love to hear your thoughts on that guys thanks so much for watching be sure to hit that like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one